Well, when I started at the Chronicle in the summer of 2006, there was a lot of support from uh, senior management uh, behind multimedia, not just uh, audio, but also video and, and um, other online features. Uh, you know, the Chronicle was, was not doing so well financially at the time. They were losing a million dollars a week. I was a little bit naive about that aspect of it when I was hired there, but um, soon became apparent. Um, but things really started to get bad, and, and the, uh, the advertising revenue really started to um, free fall in, uh, in 08 and 09. And I think by the end of, uh, uh, you know, in, in 2009, I think the, the shift really moved away from multimedia, and the uh, Chronicle, I think in order to, to really try and save itself, really had to buckle down and focus on the print product. You know, that wasn't so great for, for those of us who were trying to, you know, spearhead the multimedia effort. Yeah, we were just kind of uh, disbanded and kicked out of our room and, and assigned to different roles and eventually I was, uh, I was uh, forced out. Ever since starting uh, Starting at the Chronicle, I've seen dozens upon dozens of, of my colleagues being laid off, and and uh, you know starting different uh, kinds of careers. And I, yeah, I think that's happening to to thousands and thousands of people in the industry right now. I, I'm, I'm one of them. Um, but you know that that that's not such a bad thing. <laughs> what do you mean? What do I mean about it not being such? A, because uh, you know it it. Uh, it, it's an opportunity to do, to do things differently and to explore, um, explore uh, interests that uh, you know I might not have had time uh, to explore before. And I've met a lot of people. I've I've started to connect with the local uh, photography community in San Francisco, and that's something I, you know, probably never would have done uh, before. Um, I've also been, um, you know, I, uh, lucky to have been uh, hired by San Francisco State uh, as a uh, lecturer. So I'm teaching a couple of classes there, um, online journalism and and uh, advising the uh, online publication staff. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. And again, it's just another opportunity that came along. And I mean, the old cliche is that when um, when, when a door closes, a, a window opens, or something like that. <laughs> to me, uh, the label is not as important as the as um, you know the act of doing something. So whether you call that journalism or uh, you, you know just um, you know street photography or or or. Or, or art, or, or whatever you want to call it, um, it, really those labels are not as important to me. And I think maybe some journalists take it a little bit too seriously. They want it. They want to have that label. They want to be able to call themselves journalism. And to me, that's that's really not as important as the act of, of, of doing things, whatever they are. I mean, I want it. I want to. I want to be engaged in, in activities that I find rewarding and that hopefully other people find value in. And whether that's journalism or something else is isn't uh, you know doesn't matter so much. <laughs>